Founded in 1998 by Dean Applegate and Richard Marlowe, the annual William Byrd Festival has brought the music of Byrd and more recently, the music of his contemporaries to audiences in Portland, Oregon for the last 22 years. Each year, friends and colleagues have gathered for rehearsals, concerts, lectures, and services. There have been constants, not least the remarkable Applegate family, whose devotion to the festival and to the work of Cantores and Ecclesia throughout the year knows no bounds, and our beloved friends, Bill Mott and Kerry McCarthy, whose insight into Bird's music has served to strengthen our love of this brilliant composer. There have been many who have visited and been captivated by the festival, including Joseph Kerman, Philip Brett, Richard Turbot, and Jeremy Summerley. And there have been those whose contribution to the festival and to our lives will never be forgotten, most notably Richard Marlowe, David Trendle, and Bishop Basil Meeking. This is the first summer in 20 years that I will not have traveled across the Atlantic. Owing to the pandemic, the 23rd annual William Byrd Festival has been postponed to 2021, and I will spend my August not in Portland, but in Oxford. I know that many of you will share my sadness in not being able to be with what has become the Byrd Festival family, and to share in the joys of music making and fellowship we've so enjoyed for many years. In its own way, this experience may bring us closer to the subject of our festival, as many of us encounter the challenges of isolation, perhaps for the first time, a feeling all too familiar to recusant Catholics like Bird in the febrile atmosphere of Reformation England some 450 years ago. A biography of Thomas Tallis by our very own Kerry McCarthy will be published by OUP in the coming months and we look forward to celebrating the music of Tallis and his pupil, William Byrd, in next year's festival. I hope that this short video featuring, featuring a recording of last year's opening concert, directed by Ross Duffin, will bring back memories of happier times and enable us to look forward with hope and optimism to a time when we can be together once more. Absence makes the heart grow fonder, and whilst we're apart physically, I know that we all hold each other in our thoughts and prayers at this time, remembering in particular those who are unwell or housebound and those who care for them. On behalf of Cantoris and Ecclesia, of Holy Rosary Church, of Dean and of Blake, of Kerry, Bill and of Ross, and of the hundreds of people who have made the Bird Festival what it is today, Thank you for your support, and please do stay well. Mm -hmm. 